victim? No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know? They come in, do their business, and then... They come in, do their business, and then... Have you been to Android before? No way! No. Once. We lost a model two, three months back. But, uh, same model. Just vanished. We never found out what happened. Probably don't have any CCTV in here, huh? <laughs> no way. No, I mean, this is what people appreciate about Eden Club. Discretion. You can come and go without a trace. Sure, sure. Yeah, business is booming, right? Yeah. Can't sure complain. is. <laughs> the thing about androids is they're up for whatever you want. You won't get any diseases. And yep. Uh, unless you don't clean them. So why not go wild? Stop moving. What the heck am I supposed to do? That club manager's a pain in the ass. Shoot my ear off for half an hour so we can go to the place. So what happened here? Really? Not sure yet. I think there was another android in the room. Another android? Yeah. Well, that's what Connor says. Hey, I have a terrible fucking headache. Do you have any painkillers? No. Excuse me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Yeah, was it this bitch? This one. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, nah. Lieutenant. Just trust me. Uh. Hmm? Hello. A 30 minute session costs $29.99. Please confirm the purchase. $30, bro? USD? Hell nah, you son of a- It's not gonna look good on my expense account. Purchase confirmed. You're welcome. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Go follow her. It's your time, buddy. <laughs> Is there blue? Okay, bitch, we're done with you. Get back. Saw something. What are you talking about? Saw Get what? back in your cell. Deviant, leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Boy. Who's that? Last position. This bitch over here. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Let's try this one. This better be... Boy, come on. Dirty fuck. No. I lost its track again. Let me do one of the free ones. Is 
There it is. Okay, I see. She went down it's this way. Here, Tracy, I know which way it went. Then go for it. There this I one has a better is. sight. How are you gonna tell which one saw the Tracy with blue Shut hair? Shut the fuck up. Keep spending your money. You. Better. She was in here. Fuck. This one. Yeah, she walking through walls now. Oh, something clawed. Eden Club, yeah. <sighs> you might have a good uh, view. Eden Club, yeah. This one, I think. Yeah. It left the room. You motherfucker. You, now. Okay, buddy. They didn't see anything. But I ain't gonna they snitch on you. Somewhere. Doesn't make any sense. You. I saw it. Yeah. Eden Club. Yeah. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking hell. This is crazy. Oh. Uh. Wait. I'll take it from here. Okay, buddy. You spent all your money wanting to do work too? He doesn't want to look too useless. <laughs> Shit, we're too late. I don't know about that. Do your thing, Hank. I'm gonna do mine. <laughs> Get her. That's it. That's a suspect. Oh shit! Yeah. You hurt me. Oh no, mother. Nuh-uh. Not today. You fucking bitch. Mm. Nope. Good night, bitch. 
Ooh. Kicker. Fuck this. She got enough hits on me. I'm getting her now. <laughs> Oof. Aren't their memories gonna get wiped in a minute? Quick, they're getting away! Not today! <clears throat> Come on, let's go! Yeah! Itch! Mm. Motherfuckers! Shoot! Yeah, boy. Trying to keep me alive. Good night. Good night. Good night. Why did you kill her? <laughs> she had nothing to do with any of this. Good night. All you gotta do is repro uh, build her. When that man killed that Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't. So I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. It's too bad. I am one of you, but... Yes, I, I killed him. I... But I was just defending myself. I wanted to live. I wanted to get back to the one I love. Forget about the humans, the smell of their sweat and their dirty words. But Good you've, night. You've taken her away from me. Good night. <laughs> Let's love her. fight. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Good night. Hank don't want to be friends anymore. How cute. Ruthless. Deviants died, escaped, or something else. Or probably never found. They all made it too easy. I can't look too suspicious I'm on Deviant, but I can't get caught. The other two made it easy. This one would have been too obvious. At the end of the day, I'm trying to keep me alive. These people we're going to see. How do you know about them? Overheard androids lock or captured. They said they were humans helping androids across the border. What if it was a lie? Or just another trap? All I know is those androids believed it. Until Zlako killed them. Well, is it much farther? Not that it matters. An hour or so. Cool. It's a good thing Zlatko had a car. I wouldn't want Ellis out walking in this cold. 
I saw it once in the garage. I don't know yeah, if Sako even needs it. Malfunction detected. Emergency brakes activated. This doesn't look good. Stay inside, Alice. What are we going to do? I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. I must not make it. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. There's nowhere we can stay around here, Cap. Yeah, we can sleep right in here, nice and warm. the fuck am I supposed to do again? Find shelter, oh fuck. We need to find shelter. We have to get out of the cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. The shit. to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time.
What is this? Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. Place is falling apart. It's not going to be easy to find shelter. Oh, you found something, okay. Board it back go. up from the inside. I don't think we'll find anything better. Let's settle in for the night. I'll get a fire going. Let's see if we're on here again. What the hell is that? What is this?
Alice in Wonderland. Yeah. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I don't think we'll ever be like them, Alice. But maybe we can be happy in a different way. In our own way. Once we cross the border, we can start a new life. I'm not crossing the fucking border. As long as we're together, mm -hmm. that's all that matters. Come on, let's get you to bed. Yeah. Cookies. There are some cookies left. Would you like some? No, I'm not hungry. I wonder why. She never eats. We fucked up. I have nine thousand children stories in memory. I should have one for you. We don't do princes, we don't do unicorns. This is a story about a knight who No, not a story like that. Make one up for me. <laughs> this is a story about a little girl. Who was tired of being afraid? Who was tired of being she afraid? Of being like all the other little girls, the but other girls was. Fuck. Impossible. Down. She knew she couldn't. Yeah. Then she met a robot. What? I can. I didn't know. Uh, I didn't know he was here. Who was just as lost as the little girl? Fuck. So they decided to run away together. <laughs> to find a place where they could be safe. What they encountered the fuck? great dangers on the way.
They were so brave. They escaped all of them. Along the way, they met. George. A gentle giant. Who promised to protect them. How does the story end? It's up to us to write the end of the story, Alice. Time to sleep. We have another long day Trust, of dude. Or what? She's gonna run? Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? No, fuck. Yes. Yes. I'm gonna try. Yes, of course. Lovely. What up? She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Do you remember anything from your life before Zlatko? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Yes, I need to find myself. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Kara, have you ever noticed anything about Alice? Yeah, she doesn't eat. Yes, of course. She doesn't eat. She's a wonderful little girl. I mean, I don't know many little girls, but... I think she really is special. Special ops, yeah. Who this? Get the strap! Luth will protect the baby. Yeah. Who are you? What do you want? Don't Leave I want to shoot one of you. Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. We're just like you. Our name is Jerry. Yeah. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. Can't see us. Yep. She looks sad. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll yes. love it. Does she yes. want to see Oh, I don't think she's in the she should follow us then. Yes. Yes. I don't know if it's a good idea. <laughs> don't have any choice. Come on, Kara. Yes, let's have fun. Let's have some fun. Be our guest. 
Let's have fun. Let's have fun. The little one can climb on board. The carousel is about to begin. smile she hasn't had much to smile about lately There was only one outcome if Hank Warm were not friends anymore. Thank you, fucking pussy. Are we in the news? Trillion Doll Hair Company. Dag, how you doing? Nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Before you killed yourself? Playing Russian roulette? Oh, his name's Dagrek. Yeah, is your name Dagrek? Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there. Eating away at me. I don't have the guts to... Pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. Yep. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it.
We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA-9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? Those two girls, they just wanted to be together. They really seemed in love. You seem troubled, Lieutenant. Yeah, bro. I didn't think What's machines up? could have such an effect on you. Yeah. What about you, Connor? You hate machines, don't you? You look human, you sound human, but what are you really? Exactly. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task. So you feel anything when that girl killed herself, Connor? Yeah, Don't but no. Nah. Shit, one way or the other. Nope. I was just executing instructions. I did what I had to do. Okay, Hank. Die, Connor. You shouldn't do that, Lieutenant. Destroying me at this point would deal a blow to the investigation and have negative consequences for your personal situation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You yep. think you're so fucking smart. Always one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? Oh, you got me. Regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Bro, didn't I kill the robot? Where are you going? You get drunker. I need to think. I'm not deviant. You see me try to catch the other ones and then kill one or two. Lower suspicion, because I am deviant. I just can't get caught. That's the plan. <sighs> That's the plan. Little hamster. can't stay silent anymore. It's time humans heard what we had to say. Yes. No, they'll never listen to us. Feeling ourselves put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. Mm-hmm. We have to kill what them, too. We killed the humans. Channel 16 broadcast from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. Kill the humans. That's where we need to go. Oh, <laughs> 
We kill the humans. We'll plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Yeah. Deviants in the builder. Let's go. Whatever. Open up. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? Open I'm up. Okay. Thanks. Open up. Open up. Can I get your face? Nice. Request access. Distract. As a matter of fact, <sighs> Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Yeah, hello, this is Detroit Fire Department. Listen, do you live at 4685 Michigan Street? Yes. Uh, yes, ma'am, there's been a fire in your building. Come down here. Oh, oh God, okay, uh, I'll be right there. Oh, I can sneak through here. Maybe not. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you have any ID? Yeah, yes, yes, of course. Give her the strap. Your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. She's deviated. Get in the fucking elevator. Join me. 
Knock, knock. There goes the bob arm. Do you have your card? Did you get the card? Why is he sick? I need your help. I guess. Shit! 
We need to access the server room. We have to get rid of those guys. Leave it to me. Hey, you still play poker? All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Ladies first. Okay? Why wouldn't I be? Come on, let's get the others. Let's do this.
cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing? There? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must. What are you doing? What is this? Keep your hands where I can see them! Get up! Move! No other choice. We need to record oh, our message. Gosh. We haven't got much time. It's the mission. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. when you're ready. Man, they can identify me by my eyes. Son of a bitch. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. Then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand control of all Android production facilities to ensure the continuation of our people. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Let's get out of here.
Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you're the one we've been waiting for. our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its yep. skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. The these events opinion. took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. Their extravagant demand that android production plants be put under their control is especially is striking. Is this an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? You After what it. happened today, can we still trust our machines? Nope. Equal rights, it's not that hard. Humans make everything harder than it has to be because they're dumb and cheap. Look at this. This. This story could have ended right there. <laughs> but I got this much more. Or maybe I'm tripping. Trust the government. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Sure. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. Uh huh. Tell me, what have you discovered? My relationship with Lieutenant Anderson is problematic. He continues to struggle with psychological issues. I suspect it clouds his judgment regarding deviance. Nothing matters more than your investigation. What's happening is too important. Don't let Anderson or anyone else get in your way. I see what this is. You seem lost, Connor. Lost and perturbed. I'm just frustrated with my lack of progress. But I'm determined to accomplish my mission. If your investigation doesn't make progress soon, I may have to replace you, Connor. Really? I know I will succeed. All I need is time. Mm -hmm. 
Something's happening. Something serious. Hurry, Connor. Time is running out. Yeah, here we go. You're starting to piss me off with that coin, Connor. <laughs> yeah, you can keep it, buddy. Hi, Hank. Shit, what's going on here? There was a party and nobody told me about it? Yep. Yeah, it's all over the news, so everybody's butting their nose in. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Christ, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building, and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Yeah. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. Any knockouts? Oh, no, I didn't know anything about it. I'm not deviant, right? Hmm. Let me look at this. <sighs> Ooh. Station employee. <sighs> Shot through the back as he was trying to get away. Sure did. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson Lovely. is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. What's that? My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? Yep. Are you sure you want an android hanging around? After everything that happened? Whatever. The FBI would be taking over the investigation. You soon be off the case. No, pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crime scene. Ooh. What a fucking prick. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. New territory. You don't find anything. Okay, Lieutenant. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. Sounds lovely. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Fuck the eyes watch. Yep. Spare parts. Yep. Wait, he's got a new ear, too. Oh, no, he doesn't. We got him. I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. See, Nothing. I don't even gotta tell him no. <laughs> he, know. <laughs> he, he, he knows. But, yeah. My android knows, and he knows. Hank knows.
didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let him in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. Human error. Too much paperwork. <laughs> stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved, but we didn't know what else to do with them. Really? Let me probe the memories. Take a dick. Is there another room? State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Boy, slow down with that looking. <laughs> Run a diagnostic. All systems fully operational. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Were you present when the deviants broke in? I do not remember. in contact with any other androids recently only station androids in the normal course of my function one of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing which means there's a deviant in this room and I'm going to find out which it is It's you, isn't it? Off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece by piece for analysis. You're going to be destroyed! Do you hear me? Destroy! If you give yourself up, maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. Bro, I can tell by your body language, man. Slow down.
Yeah, I can see you sneaking. Get him out of here, bro. If only one is deviant. Turn yourself in or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Yeah, bro, you're done. Component eight four five one regulates the heartbeat. Without this module, you'll shut down in exactly sixty three seconds. I could put it back, but you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? Oh. Okay then. Okay. So you did that, huh? You motherfucker. Did y'all hear that? No, of course not. Get the knife. Nobody heard me kick that chair over? No, of course not. Everybody disappeared. Stop it! Server! Fuck out of the way! Fuck! Public opinion. Good thing you were here, otherwise I'd... Connor. Connor, no. Don't worry, they can fix me. 